In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a relational database in Notion. This process is a seamless way to interconnect your data efficiently and flexibly. If you're looking to manage projects or simply organize information that is related but stored in separate tables, this tutorial will guide you through creating those connections step by step. To get started, you'll want to head over to www.notion.so and log into your account. If you're not already familiar with Notion, it's a versatile tool that allows you to organize your projects, notes, databases, and more in a very flexible workspace. Once you're logged in, look to the left sidebar. You'll notice an option that says Create New Page. Go ahead and click on that. This is where we'll start building your first database page. Now, once you have your new page opened up, you'll want to navigate to the middle bottom portion of Notion, where you'll see three dots. Click on these to reveal more options, and from the list you see, select Table. This action will create a new table on your Notion page, and this will serve as your first database. Here comes the personal touch. In the top right corner of your table is a settings icon. When you click on it, you'll find an option to rename your table. Give your new database a meaningful name that reflects its content or purpose. Now that you have your first database set up and named, it's time to create a second one to establish the relational aspect. You'll want to return to the left sidebar and select Create New Page once more. This second page will host your second database. Just like before, click on the Table option under the Database section. Once the table appears, head over to the Settings icon at the top right, give it a click, and rename your second database accordingly. With both of your databases in place, it's time to make them work together. While in your newly created second database, choose the column that you want to become relational. This is where the connection will occur. Click on the column name and then select Add Property. From the menu that pops up, choose Relation. This option allows you to connect your data from different databases. In the new window that appears, you'll see a list of databases you've created in Notion. Find your first database and select it to establish the relationship. Next, don't forget to click Add Relation to set everything in motion. You're almost done. Click any cell within the new relation column that was created. A list of entries from the first database should appear, allowing you to select an entry that links the data between these tables. Congratulations! You've successfully created a relational database in Notion. By linking these elements, You've streamlined your data management, making your databases not just informative, but interactive and interconnected. Happy organizing!